Bucks hosting the Blazers, and the Bucks are 12 and a half point home favorites. The over/under is at 230 and a half. The Blazers are plus 610 on the money line, and the Bucks are minus 900. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it if you've not done so yet. You can do so by going to my website, rawsportstalk.com, and clicking on the membership tab or clicking on any of the membership links in my uh, social media bios. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, to my stats. College basketball and football are in there exclusively have my daily records, and you'll see the games that I actually bet in there. It's supposed to be Brogdon, Sharp, Kamara, Grant, and Aiton. Aiton is listed as probable. Lillard, Beasley, Bochamp, Giannis, and Lopez. uh, Giannis is listed as probable. Now, yet again, lineups have not been confirmed. NBA loves to confirm them 20 minutes before time. These are this team's first meetings between each other this season. Head-to-head, the Bucks are on a two-game winning streak. They are 8-2 against the Blazers in their last 10. The favorite is 8-2 on the money line and 6-4 and against the spread. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The over is 6-4, and four, and the over 230 and a half is 6-4. and four. One game that they played hit 230 exactly. So if it drops to 230, you know, that it just is what it is. I say this in every game. The Bucks traded away their defense when they traded to get Lillard. The under is eight and seven in the Blazers games. The over is ten and six in the Bucks games. Shockingly, the Blazers scored over a hundred points. You know, uh, they are one and three in their last four. They are one and three against the spread. The over under is two and two. There was a total of two hundred and two points, then two hundred and twenty five points. 227 points and 226 points. But uh, for one, two, three, four games in a row, they scored under 100 points. That would be the Blazers. For the Bucks, they are 3-1 and one in their last four. They are 3-1 and one against the spread in those games. And the over is 3-1 and one in those games. 257, 271 points, 235, and then 259. I know... The Blazers can't score with the Bucks. I know this. Most people who follow the NBA know this. The question is, at what point do the Bucks pull their starters if they have a big enough lead and then the Blazers find a way to creep themselves back in it? I'm going to take the Bucks with the money line, obviously. I'm going to take the Bucks laying the points. And I'm going to go over yet again because the Bucks don't play defense. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.